What's up guys, Legendary Ghidorah here, you already know what it is, it's your one and only. Today we have another, you know, edited version of Monster Wars here. I hope, I think this is the last one here. But yeah, Grimlock and Scorpion versus Iron Man and the Hulk. New things today, we'll also be adding Immortal Hulk and World Breaker Hulk to this. So let's begin, first things first, physicality. Now, there's several ways we can look at this, but clearly here we have Hulk and Grimlock at the top here. I mean, these two are just pinnacles of strength in their universe here. These guys have been able to basically shatter or even beat guys that can lift universes, shatter planets like pebbles, you know, wipe out whole entire stars, galaxies. You guys get this, right? There's also then their Scorpion and Iron Man. I would argue Scorpion is stronger simply on the fact that um, he's been able to beat down Raiden and being able to take on Planet 2 galaxy busting characters quite easily and quite easier than Iron Man has been able to handle him. But Iron Man is no slouch at all. This has been someone who's been able to manhandle Red Hulk on multi on a couple of occasions here. So let's begin. Let's begin. So obviously with two brutes here, we're going to have to talk about physical strength. Now Hulk has taken attacks from Juggernaut, gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with the guy, even overpowered him. He's been able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the likes of Namor, Thor, Hercules, Hyperion, the entire X-Men team. Even being able to fight against, well, basically, like I said... Whole teams, the X-Men, the Fantastic Four, the Inhumans, the Avengers, the New Avengers, the West Coast Avengers, all types of Avengers teams, right? Yeah, but Grimlock has done similar things. He's been able to one-shot Combiners, one-shot Trypticon, being able to literally beat down characters Optimus Prime and Megatron can't even, you know, can't even, um, can't really even beef with, honestly. <coughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. But yeah, Grimlock is insanely, insanely strong here. And, I, and just like the Hulk, the matter he gets, the stronger he gets. So that's what honestly keeps Grimlock in the fight here is that rage boost here. Both he and Hulk have a substantial rage boost in this um, in this fight here. Then we got durability. Now again, I would say Hulk is the more durable of the two because he has more healing factor feats. And pretty much has more and much more quality durability feats than Grimlock here. But Grimlock has stood in the presence of Unicron. Has been able to regenerate from having his organs and pretty much his whole body dismembered before. Even regenerating something as small as his optic lens. So yeah, it's very impressive. They're both incredibly um impressive here. Even if, despite the fact that these guys both have, you know, their low showings, they have their low moments... They're still relative to each other. I mean, Hulk has taken attacks from Hercules and Jane Foster at the same time. Grimlock has taken attacks from, you know, Cosmic Starscream, The Fallen, all right? While Hulk has taken attacks from Herald level beings, Grimlock has taken attacks from Cosmic beings, all right? Those two are really and just insanely comparable altogether. When Hulk has beaten down, um, you know, mutated animals, Grimlock has beaten down... Predacons, all right? Prime level characters, all right? So, yeah, these two are, again, neck and neck with each other. I mean, these guys have done pretty much the same, pretty pretty similar feats to each other. I, I mean, literally, they're flexing on beings that that really just, that are really just over the top. You know, some of them are even their own friends. Some of them are even their own, you know, comrades can't even stop them, all right? <clears throat> So yeah, these guys are ridiculously um, consistent with each other in terms of strength and durability. Speed-wise, however, is another category. Now, Hulk has been able to tag Gladiator, Hyperion, Sentry, uh, Quicksilver, Doctor Strange. Uh, has been able to keep up with hand-to-hand combat with Thor, all right? And Grimlock has been able to deflect energy blasts that have been able to tag Blur. Deflect attacks with little more than... Pretty much in a nanosecond or microsecond. But I actually think Grimlock has better combat speed due to the fact that he's much better trained here. And that's actually one of the few weaknesses Hulk actually has. He's just not a really skilled fighter. Even with Immortal Hulk here, the thing was actually able to basically, um, 
you know, hang in that fight due to his sheer skill in the way he fights. I mean, Thing was a was actually a wrestler and a boxer, I believe. He's got some insanely um insane skill here. And Grimlock actually has much more skill level than I even argue Thor and Hercules. I mean, he's been around since the dinosaur age, before, you know, they were even born. He's got centuries, if not billions of years <laughs> of experience here. But they're not going to be the deciding factor. I think it has to come down between Iron Man and Scorpion. But it is going to be noted Grimlock will have the upper hand as the fight drags on. Iron Man actually does have some things that could, you know, help him defeat Scorpion in this fight here. Like the fact that he can predict someone's movements. But I actually think that's going to be um that's going to be countered mm -hmm. by Scorpion's teleportation here, as that's not something you can predict here. As well as the fact that Scorpion's fighter style, <coughs> fi fire style, Scorpion's fighting style is able to um pretty much counter that, as he actually does like to teleport all around in combat. So if Iron Man, so you know, if Scorpion is you know getting his moves predicted, he'll, he will start teleporting on Iron Man and start beating him all around. Then there's Iron Man shields that can hold up to Wonder Man, hold up to Phoenix Force Emma Frost, and have even been able to contain um, Apocalypse before. But again, there's some ways around that. I don't think Scorpion is strong enough to physically break those kind of shields. If they're blocking attacks from Phoenix Force Emma Frost, who had half the Phoenix Force at that time, yeah, he's not going to be able to break through those shields. Even if he's drawing upon the power of the Nether Realm, it's going to take him a while before he can actually break something like that. <laughs> but I do think Scorpion has enough means to get around those shields. It's literally just the simplest move. Teleport. Just spam that teleport. Then in a combat situation, Scorpion is going to pretty much fold Iron Man like a tin can. I hate to say it, but he's going to fold him like a 10K here. I mean, he can amp his attacks with Hellfire, which is a magical thing here, all right? The dude can summon the dead to restrain Iron Man, as they've restrained characters like Sub-Zero, Raiden, Goro, all right? He can even move his chains in unpredictable fashion, and can't. hence why I said, you know, Iron Man is going to have a tough time even predicting Scorpion's patterns. Then Iron Man's durability, yeah. Iron Man could definitely hang in the fight. He's taking attacks from beings like, um, you know, a worthy amped Grey Gargoyle. Basically a Thor level of um, Grey Gargoyle um, stacked on top of it, okay? Then you have the fact that uh, Scorpion actually has a healing factor. That means most of Iron Man's weaponry really isn't going to affect him. He can also simply dodge it with by either, you know, deflecting it or redirecting it. You know, say if Iron Man shoots a missile... He might just dodge it, throw a kunai around that boy, and just swing it, like, right back at Iron Man. You know, I mean, Spider-Man has done this. I don't see a reason why um, Scorpion can't do it either, you know? So, honestly, uh, geez, when I actually think about it here, if Grimlock and Hulk actually have an extended fight, and I do believe they will, they will have an extended fight, their fight is going to last a while, once Grimlock applies that skill, he's going to have the upper hand, but it's still going to take a lot to knock Hulk out here. And by the time he does that, Iron Man and Scorpion probably would have be would be done here. I mean, the fight could carry on. Iron Man does have a couple things, like his invisibility, but Scorpion also has AoE attacks. I mean, even his Hellfire Blast, he's even been able to overcome um, illusions as well. So, honestly, Iron Man's not getting far with illusions here in this fight as well. So, honestly, um, yeah, it's, um, I think it's a pretty, I think it's a pretty good fight here. Pretty close fight, in my opinion. But I do think Scorpion and Grimlock do take it here more often than not. Scorpion's magical edge here, he's the only magical user in this fight, actually. And he can actually increase his power as well, while Iron Man is kind of stuck in some in like a linear fashion here. So I do think Scorpion will beat Iron Man, not in a quick pace, but definitely fast enough to the point where he can pretty much jump Hulk with Grimlock. All right, that's the way I see it going. I'm I do think they claim the 
6 out of 10. I do think they claim 6 out of 10 during this fight. But let me know what you guys think. Please comment down below, like, and subscribe, and share with your friends. This is Legendary Ghidorah, and I'll see you guys later for the next Grimlock matchup.